Welcome again children. Now coming on to types of adjectives. This is going to be very easy for you because we have already discussed some of it. So like I said the definition of an adverb is how an action is done. So that how tells us about manner, adverb of manner. When an action is done, that, that word or uh, when tells us about adverb of time. Where an action is done and that tells us about adverb of place. And when it describes an adjective or an or another adverb that tells us about adverb of degree. Now interrogative is the only one which is left. Interrogative as you can see the word means questioning word. So these words can be questioning words. Words which are questioning words and which tell us when, where or how an action is done. So those are interrogative adverbs and last is adverb of frequency they tell us about how often or how frequently so these are the kinds of or types of adverbs which are those adverb of manner adverb of time adverb of place adverb of degree interrogative adverb and last is adverb of frequency now let's d let's take them one by one Adverb of manner tell us about how an action is done or they express the manner of an action. Adverb of manner tells how or the manner in which something is done. So these can be the examples of adverb of manner. What? Joyfully. How did she dance? She danced joyfully. Correctly. How did she do the sum? She did it correctly. How did they fight? They fought bravely. So all these words are telling us how the actions are done. Slowly, carefully, quickly, fast, hard. So you can see, you can observe, you can notice that most of these words end with L-Y. So adverbs of manner, most of the words which are adverbs of manner end with l -Y. Why? But it's not always like this. It can be word like fast, how, hard. So how did she run? She ran fast. How did she work? She worked hard. So all these words can be adverbs of manner. Now adverb of manner. Examples are the river flowed down the hill calmly. The train rushed noisily she folded the clothes neatly i read the book quickly the soldiers fought bravely now adverb of time adverb of time tells when or at what time something is done so adverb of time these can be the examples of adverb of time which words already now soon then, yet, still, today, tomorrow, yesterday, sometimes, afterwards, before, immediately. Adverb of time, these are the examples. I have never seen this before. The package was delivered yesterday. All these words which are highlighted are adverbs of time. She's going tomorrow. I'll do my homework afterwards. It will soon be our school vacation now adverb of place they tell us where something is done or some action is done they indicate the place of action and these can be the examples of these words here there everywhere up down near far behind around inside nowhere somewhere back etc and these can be used in sentences like this. We looked around for a cab. The old lady got down from the bus. He put the pen here. Keep the book down. The market is nearby. 
Now, adverbs of frequency. Adverb of frequency tell us that how something is done. How? How frequently or how often? Never, always, rarely. These can be the words which we can use in this kind of adverb. Once, daily, seldom. Often, usually, frequently, occasionally, thrice, twice, once. All these words can be adverbs of frequency. And this is how we can use them in sentences. He often uses the metro to travel to office. These hills are always green. He has always helped me. She rarely talks to me. I brush twice daily. Now, these adverb of degree. Now, these adverbs, they describe an adjective or an adverb. Adverb of degree tells extent or the intensity of the verb or action. So, these are the examples. Very, rather, almost, completely, extremely, hardly, absolutely, fairly, scarcely, quite, too, etc. Now, how these can be used in sentences? I agree with you completely. They nearly cancelled. They nearly cancelled their cancelled our tickets to Spain. He is too weak to walk. The stars can barely be seen in a cloudy sky. He hardly noticed what she was doing. So all these can be adverbs of degree. Now last we have adv interrogative adverb. Interrogative like I said interrogative means questioning word. So interrogative adverbs are used for asking questions. So, words like when, where, why, how, how much and how often. These are the words. These are the questioning words which are interrogative adverbs. And remember, when we get the answer for these, we get answer for adverbs. Like one of the definitions of adverb is or one of the kinds is when an ex uh, action is done. So, we will get the answer for this when. When the action is done, it can be done tomorrow or it will be done tomorrow or it is done today. Where? Outside, inside, here, there. So where we get the answers for adverbs. All those questioning words are adverbs. Where is the shop? When does the sun rise? Why did you cancel the ticket? How can I help you and how often do you go to school? Remember this where also is one of the kinds of adverbs because it tells us about place when tells us about when tells us about time why tells us about the reason how tells us about manner how often tells us about frequency or how why can also tell us about degree so these are examples where is the shop? When does the sun rise? Why did you cancel the ticket? How can I help you? You can help me by doing this work neatly. See here neatly. We have got the word adverb neatly here. So words where we get an answer for adverbs like where is the shop? It is nearby. Nearby word is also an adverb. When does the sun rise? In the morning. See, all these words where we get an answer as adverbs, they are interrogative adverbs. Why did you cancel the ticket? Because I had my reason. Because I couldn't go or whatever can be the reason. How can I help you? How often do you go to Delhi? How much does it cost? So this was all in the kinds of adverbs. Hope you have understood them. And now we'll be... Moving on to placement of adverbs and comparison of adverbs. That would be all in the kinds of adverbs. Thank you.